Welcome to Unfold Data Science. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. I have intentionally used the word data a couple of times in my introduction. And the reason for that is I spend my whole day around data. In this video, I am going to talk about five secret ingredients that will help you to create an effective data story. Please listen to this very carefully guys if you do anything around data. Okay. So, the first ingredient for your compelling, effective data story is called the hook, okay? And I have already given you an example of what is meant by the hook. When I told you that, I'll give you five secret ingredients to create a nice data story. What are some of the examples of the hook or what is the definition of the hook? The definition of the hook is very simple, something that increases the interest of the audience in what you are talking or what you are going to talk. There could be some examples from your day-to-day -day YouTube history as well. For example, if I tell you, I'm just giving you some negative hooks example, okay? So you might be seeing YouTube videos where people will tell you, I can make you rich, okay? Or um, how to get a 50 lakhs per annum package. These are not so good hooks, okay? Because, you know, first time, Maybe they will take your attention, but since it is not genuine, you may lose attention over time or you may not trust that person. What you have to find is genuine hooks. Okay. How to create a genuine hook? Genuine hooks will be created by doing basic data analysis. For example, let's take an example of you are going to present a, a data analysis on customer attrition to a telecom company. Okay. So you just go ahead, do some analysis and then come with a hook something like this. For example, you can say that, are you aware Gartner survey says that it is five times more cost to acquire a new customer as compared to retaining an existing customer. Okay, that is a hook. Everybody will be interested in that and you are using the word Gartner. So you are giving the authenticity of your hook as well. Try to create some genuine hooks and try to create some uh, right hooks. So don't try to take a shortcut or give something which, which is not right or which may hamper your uh, image in front of the customer. Okay. Hook, remember one part. The second part I want to talk about here is do a little research about your audience. The audience could be many people. For example, going back to same customer churn problem, right? Suppose the audience is marketing executives of a particular company. Okay. And I want to tell them, what are the reasons for people churning or people attrition, right? So I will use a different context, different language, different narrative as compared to if I'm giving the same presentation to somebody who is from a technical background or who has to do something with the, um, let's say inventory management, I will do a different kind of narrative. So if you know your audience, right, you can tune your narrative, tune your tones, tune your jargons or the words you are using, you can decide how deep you want to go or how at the surface level you want to go. Okay. So just do little research on who are your audience. This is applicable to both online and offline presentation when you create a data story. Okay. If you know your audience, that will give you an idea of what should be the level of level of your talk. Okay. And the direction of your talk. Third and most important guys, you have to tie up your narrative with the charts and graphs. Okay. Now let me tell you what is the meaning of tying up your narrative with charts and graphs. Suppose I do some analysis and in my analysis, some of the report is not suggesting what I want to present. Okay. What I will do is I will take that out from my analysis. I will not show that. Okay. Suppose I want to show that if the company is increasing the tariff, then people are leaving. Okay. And that relation is not coming nicely in the heat map. Just an example. Okay. That relation is not coming nicely on the heat map. I will not take that heat map in my presentation. Okay. What I will do is I will decide these are my audience. This is my narrative. Okay. And then I will support my narrative with the right charts, right visuals, right stories in your narrative. There has to be a beginning that can relate to your hook. 
there has to be a middle point like okay customer is churning this is what i am finding in the data and this is what my objective is okay fourth point is related to this only three things we have discussed right first is hook second is know your audience third is you support your narrative with the right visuals and fourth is what is that you are trying to achieve here so suppose um, i am giving the same presentation to again i'll say marketing executives and same presentation to somebody from inventory management right in both these cases right there could be a different objective i am trying to achieve correct so suppose i i teach data science to maybe engineering students and i teach data science to i am graduates right what i will try to achieve will be completely different right what is the objective i am trying to achieve here so for engineering grads i may say that do some projects put it in your resume right to these mba guys i can say that collect some market market research data see how things are working try something on your own right so what is that i am trying to achieve what is my objective okay so am i trying to say that i will solve this attrition problem using this path or i am suggesting something else so define your objective and call to action very very clearly okay call to action is pretty important here what next right so this is my data story what next very important okay and last fifth point i want to cover here is basically engagement okay so now i am talking to you through this video so you are not in front of me right if you would have been in front of me right after all my points i will take a pause and i will ask what do you think okay i will just take a pause and i will say what do you think about this point what does your experience say about the hook what does your experience say about people churning or leaving or attrition so more and more you create engagement with your audience right better it is to get the feedback act on that feedback quickly and have that rapport getting created okay so engagement asking questions getting answers feedbacks keep that at every you know after some interval in your data story okay and as a bonus i also want to talk about two things the framework in which you will present your story right so all these are different ingredients to make the food but how you will go step by step to make the food right so basically two things i want to talk about here one is called pyramid structure of data story you can search about that and another is called sqa okay situation complication question answer just search about pyramid uh, way of telling data story and sqa way of telling data story okay so remember guys your hook is most important knowing your audience very important narrative with right visuals fourth is how do you say that what is your objective and fifth is engagement feedbacks question and answers okay if you combine all these things together you are going to be a great data storyteller don't forget to give me a thumbs up guys if you like this video i'll see you all in the next video wherever you are stay safe and take care